with a good knowledge of chemistry we should be able to predict the product of a reaction between a given reactant or find reactant if we know the product so let's develop this knowledge by trying to understand how atoms and molecules react using three basic reactions and then we will try to predict the product of a given reactant h plus cl gives hcl in this reaction one mole of hydrogen atom reacts with one mole of chlorine atom to give the product 2h plus o gives h2o in this reaction single mole of oxygen atom can react with two moles of hydrogen atoms to form the product whereas chlorine only reacts with one mole of hydrogen atom na plus cl gives nacl in the third reaction we see that same single mole of chlorine atom reacts with one mole of sodium atom just like its case with hydrogen atom now using these three equations can we predict how many moles of sodium atom reacts with single mole of oxygen atom and what will be the product can you guess the answer probably you might be getting some idea but instead of guessing the answer we will develop a simple tool used in chemistry to solve such problems it's called equivalence law of equivalence says that atoms and compounds react in the same number of equivalents that means if we take our first reaction and define one mole of h atom as one equivalent one mole of chlorine atom two would be one equivalent and one mole of hcl will be one equivalent in the second reaction we see one mole of oxygen is reacting with two moles of hydrogen now here two mole will become two equivalent according to our definition and hence one mole of oxygen will also be two equivalents and one mole of h2o will be two equivalent now in the third reaction we see one mole of chlorine reacts with one mole of sodium hence one mole of na is one equivalent and one mole of nacl is one equivalent now with these informations we look back at the problem at hand we need to find the mole of na which will react with one mole of o atoms now one mole of o atom is two equivalent and hence we require two equivalent of na2 now one mole of na is one equivalent hence two equivalent should be two moles of na hence one mole of o will react with two moles of na and the product will be na2o and the equivalent of na2o will be 2 let's try to use what we have learned to solve another problem look at this compound s2cl2 if one mole of s is x equivalent what will be x think about this we will discuss its answer at the end of this video basically to use this technique of equivalence we should know one mole is how many equivalents for any atom or compound here we say that one mole of chlorine is one equivalent whereas one mole of o is two equivalents why is this difference to understand this we need to look at how basic reactions take place reactions usually involve exchange of electrons so the formation of hcl takes place in three steps first when one mole of hydrogen releases one mole of electron and one mole of proton and in the next step this one mole of electron is taken up by one mole of chlorine and it becomes one mole of cl minus ion now this one mole of cl minus ion will attract one mole of h plus that is proton to form hcl compound in the second reaction we see that unlike chlorine which only had appetite for one mole of electron one mole of oxygen requires two moles of electrons to become stable o2 minus ion hence requires one more mole of h to release one more mole of electron so total two moles that is two equivalents of h is required for one mole of oxygen whereas chlorine only needed one mole of hydrogen hence we say oxygen is two times equivalent of chlorine 
Using this basic concept, we will define a new term called N factor, which measures a species' capability to release or accept electrons. Hence, N factor of H is 1, Cl is 1, and O is 2. If we take example of Ca, its one mole can release two mole of electron. Hence, its N factor will be 2, and one mole of Ca will be two equivalents. Hence, one mole of Ca will react with one mole of oxygen and two moles of chlorine. Let's define equivalence using N factor. One mole of a species is N factor times equivalent. For example, Al, if its N factor is 3, one mole of aluminium will be 3 equivalents. So, one mole of Al is 3 equivalent of any other species. Let's take H for example. Hence, one mole is equivalent to 3 moles of hydrogen.